Okay. Get out of my face. Okay. Does God love the world? Or does not God not love the world? Does God love only the redeemed? Or does God love everybody? Did God, Jesus, die for only the saved? Or did he die for the whole world? Before I go into this, I'm thinking of the Bible verse. God is the Savior of all men, especially of those who believe. Now, if God doesn't love everybody. He, it's true, not everybody's going to be saved. But if God doesn't love everybody, why does he not say God, why does the Bible say God is the Savior of all men, especially of those who believe? Oh, I'm sure they got a way around that. They say, I'll oh, forget it. They'll probably say God is, a, God is the Savior of all men. And the, that word uh, especially means uh, em emphasizing what men he lo loves. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I think, oh, fuck it, man. D.L. Moody. I love him. I love him, man. Talks about the love of God. You can read it. Not right here. If you can only make men believe God is love, if you can really make a man believe you love him, you have won him. And if I can only make people really believe that God loves them, what a rush we would see for the kingdom of God. Oh, how they would rush right in. But man has got a false idea about God. This by D.L. Moody, a godly. Uh, he, he, he had a saying, a soul a day keeps the devil away. At the, you know, you know, apple way keeps the doctor away. But man has got a false idea about God, and he will not believe that he is a God of love. It is because he don't know him. John telling us about the love of God has for this person. I, I, I somehow sense that God loves everybody. He's not going to save everybody because you must meet his requirements of faith. I just get the sense that he does. But what if I'm wrong? What is this? It's just my perception of God built up over the years of coming to know God as a God of love. I don't, I don't fucking know. You can read this. Beloved, let us love one another for love is of God and everyone that love is, is born of God and knoweth God. Even John MacArthur, the Calvinist, the extreme Calvinist, said God has a love for the un ungenerate man. Okay. If God was love, he would love me. God is not love. I'm a poor, miserable sinner. God hates sin, but he loves a sinner, says D.L. Moody. You can read it for yourself. But, but, and this also, uh, but another preacher, Conrad Rural, says about, says about sin always exists inside of a man. God even had to put our sin upon his son before he could judge it. He put all the sin of his people upon Jesus Christ and poured it out unmitigated wrath upon him. The man, not just the sinner, not just the sin. But yes, yeah, some people say that God was not angry at Jesus on the cross, but Jesus bore our sins and paid the penalty, which is death, being delivered over to the devil. Suffered the effects of God's wrath, but God, but God did not declare him. Oh, forget it. No, my friend, if you are yet unrepentant in your selfish rebellion against God, his wrath is revealed from heaven against you. He hates you. He despises the sight of you. That reminds me of that verse, I think in James. James Jude, saving them from a fire, despising even the garments spotted by the flesh. I remember someone, Kenny and Debbie, 
and children are telling us, do you know that if you're a sinner, God hates the very clothes you wear? No, the angels hate the that they, they said the very the angels hate the very clothes you wear. Conrad Merle says, God hates you. He despises the sight of you. Mourn, God may hate you. Just whom does God love? And you can read it right here. I personally believe or want to believe that he loves everybody, but he cannot pour his love upon people. He cannot pour the effects of his love upon people while there's, there's sin in their heart, while there's sin in them. And when the Bible says he, God hates man, it's, it's in the same way that a judge hates the guilty. And sentences him because he hates his guilt. Let's see. So, which is it? Dear Jesus, do you, which is it? And Jesus, are you even real? Your own powerful, spirit filled. Preachers led by the Spirit who shall leave us under all truth that it says in the Bible. And yet, one Spirit-filled led preacher says God loves the sinner, D.L. Moody, and another says God hates the sinner. Jesus, are you even real? What is truth? And that means, leads me into another question that makes me doubt. And all this unbelief I've got is creating utter torment in me. The torment I now feel is not the thought that I've created, committed an unpardonable sin, but this unbelief. It's hard. I'm. It's hard to believe in the, the historicity of Jesus. And that's what makes me, and that terrifies me. And because of that, this unbelief, I'm wondering if it's because God's spirit has left me permanently to myself. And without God's spirit, you cannot believe. And that, that's the only thing I can wonder. What is truth? Which is it? Does God love the sinner or God hate the sinner? Which is it? Oh, I was saying, when, though, when who was it? Jude quotes from that, that, that apocryphal book, The Assumption of Moses. And we know that we know that book was written literally hundreds and hundreds of years after Moses lived. If there really was a Moses who lived, and says that the devil argued with Michael, the archangel of the body of Moses. They got that from the, the book, the assumptions of Moses. Yet that book was apocryphal, not true. So unless that really happened. Which is stretching it? Why? If he if he was been inspired by the Spirit and brought the Book of Jude, how could he get that? How, how could he? How could the Spirit let that blunder pass his fact when it's not truth? And Jude quoting from the Book of Enoch, when that book was not written, that book was not written before the flood. But literally hundreds and hundreds of years after the flood, pseudepigraphy forgeries in the name forgeries claim. So if, it's, it's like if I write a book and claim to be Donald Trump, pseudepigraphy like that. <laughs> so Jesus, are you really real? Jesus, are you really real? Because I'm seeing some stuff that's telling me that you're not. Are you really real? I really want to know. I really want to know. And Jesus, if you are, can I? Is there any? Is there any way I can have you back? Is there any way I can have you back? I just don't fucking know.